Hello friends, uh, this video is all about how to install TASM in Windows operating system. I am using Windows 7. So just to open the browser like Chrome. In search type download TASM for Windows you will get number of results click on second option that is the site that is techapple.net So this has a TASM Windows 7 or Windows 8, 8.1 full screen, 32 bit, 64 bit TASM installer. So which works in full screen. So here you can read so much information about TASM. TASM is one of the leading or popular app for doing 8086 programming. If you want to practice programming for 8086 or microcontrollers you can use this software just to click on this link that will download a TASM file I have already downloaded TASM so in downloads you can see that there is a file TASM okay so this particular file is easily installed just by clicking on that that will open an installer like this so here you can see that there is a uh, TASM for Windows TASM 1.2 1.4 for Windows just click on next here you need to click on I agree then that will just simply install the software just finish it click on finish it will create a shortcut on your desktop like this TASM 1.4 1.2 when you click on that icon that will open TASM windows you can see a full screen this is the TASM software friends if you want to create program just type edit space name of the program and the extension should be dot asm I have already typed a program called P um, I have already typed a program for addition of two 8-bit numbers added dot asm You can save the program then you can exit from the program just clicking on exit you will navigate it to the TASM home page here if you want to compile or assemble your program just type TASM program name add dot ASM it will display any errors or warnings if no errors it will display none next you have to perform link operation for that you have to use the command T link link program name add dot but the extension should be dot obj because after assembling your file will transfer to object file to execute it just type td command followed by name of the program dot exe it will open a window like this this is the execution screen this is called turbo debugger here you can see so many options like file edit view run and so many options are there 
if you click on that run there will be so many options like run When you click run, that will execute the program. If you want to see the output, click on view and go to dump. That will open a small window like this where you can see the output. But instead of doing this, I prefer tracing the program that is by just clicking on F7 continuously that will execute each and every instruction at a time so that you can see the changes that occurs in the registers here you can see different parts of a window like you can see all the registers flags stack memory data memory and your program that is code segment So I prefer using function F7 so that I can see what are the changes that are uh, being made to my program. If you want to exit from this window, just click on quit. Or if you want to go to OS shell that is a MS DOS shell, just click on DOS shell. It will take you to the TASM that is command prompt. If you want to come out from it, just press exit. You will again navigate it to the desktop. I want to show another version of how to execute the program in case of displaying strings or working with strings. I am again opening this TASM DOS box. So I have created a program called P1.ASM. I want to write a program that displays a string hello world on the screen. So first create data segment then declare a string MSG. The string can be declared with db followed by 0dh comma 0ah comma in single quotes write the string like hello world and again you have to write 0dh 0ah in single quote you have to write a dollar this dollar is used to represent end of the string now I am closing my data segment that is data end is start code segment write assume command in assume command we have to specify the names for this data segment and code segment so i have to write it as cs colon code comma ds colon data then start start is the label where from that is a point where your execution of the program starts first initialize the data segment by writing move ax comma data move ds comma ax we cannot directly move the base address of data into ds that's why we are taking ax then how to print the string is just get the effective address of your string into the dx by using the instruction lea that is load effective address so lea dx comma msg will get the effective address of the string into the dx register 
then the code to print the string is move number 09 into ah then call interrupt to 21h so that will print the string on the screen to close the execution or exit from the execution you have to write two instructions that is move ah comma force ah interrupt 21h then close the code segment by writing code and this and end start this is a small program to print string on the screen just save the program and exit from the program now compile the program by using the command tasm here the compilation is called as assembling so tasm p1.esm so in my program there are no errors and warnings perform the linking operation by using tlink name of the program p1.obj you can see the turbo link version 2.0 and how to run your program is just type the name of the program that is p1.exe or simply p1 you can see that a string is displayed on the screen that is hello world this is how you can run the program in two different ways one is by using the td command or when you're working with strings you can directly use the name of the program to display the string on the screen there is another version that is by using debugger